Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from XDA. And some of you may remember the launcher back in the day called Aviates. Some of you may even still use it now. However, it fell short in that it wasn't that customizable. However, in today's new Android home screen tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to set up this Android home screen that looks a lot pretty much like Aviate. However, it's actually Nova Launcher as well as custom live wallpaper combined into one. If you'd like to know how to set up this very home screen, then let us begin with today's new video. Great everyone, so today's new home screen is titled OV8 by the designer Cole Work or Andre Zimmerman as he sometimes known. And I love this home screen, it's a three page setup, it's done a fantastic designer giving you um, simple elegant structure but still got some functionality in terms of the left hand side here. We've got our weather page setup, beautiful icons over here, it's got the day of the week. But more importantly, what happens when I plug in my little headset here, it jumps straight to my music that I can of course just use my music controls to change and listen straight away. Now when I'm done with listening to my music, of course just unplug it and it goes straight back to my weather. Pretty damn cool. I'm gonna go now to my right hand side where I've got my uh, most used apps. You can of course change these and it's got the beautiful Delta Pack icons there that look incredible. And then lastly, your middle page here, you can change to whatever <laughs> wallpaper that you desire. I just like this one right here. But without any further ado, let us begin with today's new tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know the apps that you'll be needing in order to set up this very home screen. First up will be Nova Launcher, and you can use any other launcher, but Nova Launcher will be the easiest to customize. Next up will be Custom Live Wallpaper. You'll be needing the Prime version because you'll be needing to import presets. You can choose whatever icon pack you prefer, but the ones that look best on this home screen will be the Delta icon pack that, are on, that was seen on the right hand side, and at the bottom dock, I use the flat icon pack or oh, flat out icon pack as it seems to be the closest resemblance. And then last but not least will be Tasker to get that um, music um, little setup to be appearing. You will be needing Tasker for that. So once you have those all installed onto your phone, make sure that you copy the various files needed for this various setup for custom onto your phone. And once we have those on your phone, we can then begin with the Nova Launcher setup. Great, so the first thing we wanna do is set up our Nova Launcher settings. So we're gonna jump into our Nova Launcher setup like this, and we're gonna start off with the desktop at the top. Our desktop grid, a nine by five, seemed to work out pretty well, as well as enabling subgrid positioning. Next, you wanna make sure that your icon size and layout is set to 115 and the label is turned off. Just makes everything look a lot better. Next up, make sure that your dock is turned off. So if you do have your dock turned on, make sure that it is no longer. If we jump into our look and feel, we can then turn on our icon theme as Delta as it makes it a little bit easier um, and it just goes with the whole flow when you want to import your icons onto the home screen. Last but not least, you want to make sure that you have three home screens set up. So you want to have one, two, and then last one over here is three. If it says um, you want to add in a blank page, that's fine. You must enable just three blank pages right here. These are going to be used for our custom live wallpaper setup. So once you've got your three pages, we are now ready to get on with the uh, custom live wallpaper. Get, make sure that you have nothing on the home screen. So if you, if you have any icons or widgets, make sure to get rid of everything. Great, so let's jump into setting up our custom live wallpaper. We're gonna long press on the home screen, jump into wallpapers, and then from there, we're gonna go into our live wallpapers and then into custom, or you can just go there via the app. From here, the next thing you want to do is click on the little gear icon there to jump into your settings. And from here, you want to go into your little side menu on the side here, and you want to go load presets. From here, you want to click on the little open icon at the top because you want to find that KLWP preset that you downloaded onto your phone. And this is the one that you want to be installing. It's the OV8.KLWP. So this is the one done by Andre Zimmerman, designed it all himself, and let's jump into it. If I select it now, it's gonna show up my three page setup. So one, uh, two, and the three ones kind of in the middle. Um, from here, you've got some globals to play around with. If you select our globals right now, but what we can do here is change our various settings such as the wallpaper used in the middle. So if we go over right here and we say pick image, we can then choose a different image for the middle. So if I select this one right here, it'll then change it accordingly. You can also do the same for the colors. If you're not really a fan of the white, you can change it to say a night theme. But right now, if we select save, I'm just gonna leave it as is just to show you what this is set up as. Don't forget to say set wallpaper. And of course you wanna say set wallpaper um, just for your home screen. You can set it for your lock screen, might get a bit weird. 
So let's just see what that looks like. You've got our weather page right here, our main screen where we changed our little background there, and of course the side over here. Looks a bit empty because we're gonna be installing our, or uh, importing our icons. So very simple right here. We're gonna start off with the media at the top. So for example, if you wanna say add in your play music, you can just long press down and then drag it like that. Um, the sub, sub grid positioning does really help right here simply because it might get a bit tricky. And the ones here at the bottom are basically the flat out icon pack. So for example, if I add it in my phone over here, dragged it down and I wanna change it. I'm gonna long press on it, select edit, select the icon. And from here I can choose a various number of icons to choose from. But the flat out one is set out over here. As you can see, it looks pretty, pretty good. So I'm just gonna repeat that for the bottom ones here and fill in the rest of the icons here and get back to you shortly. And just like that, I've added in all the icons there at the bottom and all these icons over here. So it's looking a lot better. So this looks good and all, but we still wanna be setting up our little music over here and that requires Tasker. So in order to do get into Tasker, we're gonna select it right here. As you can see, I've already imported the headset, but we're gonna be importing the headset profile. So if I select it right here and select import, it'll ask me what profile I'd like to import. So if I select this little phone icon here, and we've got this very tastefully, beautifully designed um, section here, we can now find where we've saved it. So if I go into my download folder, there, there is the, the little text file, the XML setup right there. And if you select it, it should now appear over there. And that's it, you don't have to do anything else for Tasker. Um, you might wanna just get rid of that little uh, lightning bolt icon there, it gets a bit much. But don't forget, you can select it here and select import. I'm just gonna turn this one off as we only need one on right now and then go back. And you can always test that this works by going into your uh, weather page and then just plugging in say one of your headsets and then see if it changes to music. And if it does that, then you know that Tasker is working properly. But that wraps up today's video guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. So that wraps up today's video guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as to subscribe if you'd like to see more Android home screen tutorials. But that concludes today's video guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you around next time.